What's up guys, coming at you here from Gridlock Traffic. Gridlock Traffic, big accident. We're back in Vancouver and we no, actually we're are- leaving. We're leaving. Yeah, we're <laughs> taking off again. We're heading down to Seattle for the weekend <laughs> and we're gonna do a TripAdvisor's top 10 weekend in Seattle. So we're gonna show you the best things that Seattle has to offer for this weekend. Of course, some people may have their own opinions. Local, that's fine by all means, but we are doing what TripAdvisor suggests as the best things to do in Seattle. Right now, we're actually stuck in traffic though. A huge accident in front of us, so I'm parked. For any of those that want to say that I'm filming while I'm driving, I'm not, I'm not moving anywhere. All right, so we made it to the locks here finally. They're kind of buried off outside of the city through some residential areas. It's a nice little area to drive through, but not an easy just, hey, we're gonna go check out the locks kind of deal. I'm not sure how you get here with public transit, but I'm sure there's a bus that runs here, but it's a beautiful, quaint little area, and we'll take you guys through here. This is on TripAdvisor's top 10 to do in Seattle. So check this out. This boat is actually coming through the locks here. So these locks that are opening up will essentially raise or lower the boat to the water level it needs to be at to go through to the next lock and then continues along either inland or out to the ocean. And then just back here, all these boats are actually lined up and they're joining them going through the locks and they're all just kind of cruising through together because it takes, it takes a while to go through the, the full set. Okay, so to give you an example, you can see down here where the water level is on that bridge there. Um, that is the outside of this lock. And then on the other side, you can see that water level is significantly higher. So that's what they're doing. They're basically getting these boats up to a different height and different level to be able to continue in uh, inward towards the land area. Final verdict. Locks were really cool. Yes. It'd be nice if you were coming here to sit in the park and just enjoy the day. Otherwise, it's kind of a quick visit. You don't really need long, but it's definitely a cool sight to see uh, and something very different from the area. And they left onto West Prospect Street. Driving in San Francisco. Okay, so we just drove up to Cary Park, which is another one of TripAdvisor's top 10 sites here for the Seattle area. And we had no idea what we were expecting. Um, the area is stunningly beautiful. The homes are incredible around here. And then we came across the corner and the view is just its breathtaking. Yeah, and then you come around the corner and you see this. What were you expecting when we said we were going to come to a park here? Um, greenness? Maybe I thought you could be able to see the ocean, but I didn't realize you could see. It's so bright. <laughs> All of this. So, there's not a whole lot else here. It's specifically just for that viewpoint. You can see behind us, sort of, there's a tiny, tiny little park. But overall, it was a really, really cool site. Final thoughts? Definitely worth it for a good view of Seattle. Nothing you can much easily to do, do it here. on your drive in, pop off, come see it. Exactly, yeah. Recommend and just it. a beautiful little neighborhood to drive through. And I think it'd be really nice at night, too. Oh, totally. And can't complain because it's free. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight. Welcome to our room. We're staying at the Hyatt here in Bellevue. And it's pretty nice. It's a, it's a huge, huge complex, this whole hotel. And we actually ended up getting the room on Priceline. This is not a Priceline ad, nor are we sponsored by Priceline. But they just have a really good name your own price system and my thrifty side loves it. Name your own price, Priceline, good deals. You bid for hotel rooms. 
So we got it for about just over a hundred bucks and it's an absolutely beautiful hotel in this area. It's a little quieter being not in the center of downtown Seattle, but it was a crazy expensive weekend in Seattle. So we're staying just outside and checking out Bellevue. We just put ourselves together and we're heading out for dinner and to do a little bit of shopping in the Bellevue area. And it's gonna be a bit of a quiet night tonight because tomorrow night we're gonna go to the Dueling Pianos and a baseball game. So we're gonna hang out a little bit in Bellevue and check out what it has to offer. Check this out. This is the Bellevue Square and the Bellevue Mall and everything. Just a huge complex. So we're staying here at the Hyatt and this is a massive mall. We just did a little walk through the Bellevue Square Mall, Bellevue Place, and it was really, it's beautiful. It's a really nice, big, huge mall. Anything you can want is there. And everything's connected by tunnels, so you can go in the rainy season and still enjoy it. It's beautiful here. It's such a nice little area just to wander around. There's great restaurants, little bars and shops and everything you can, just in this little area. And it's nice because it's so close to Seattle, but you kind of feel like you're- a totally different city. Yeah, you feel like you're somewhere completely different. In, so far away from home. Gonna go for a little Italian fare. Bruschetta. And we've got a bunch of different varieties here. Some of their specialties, there's four different types. And we're about to try them. After some solid bruschetta, we got the shrimp fare di avola. This is a hand cut pet. Ch chicken piccata. The healthy one. Which is like a, sort of a lemon butter sauce. We just finished our dinner at Maggiano's and we're going to call it an evening and it's a little bit early but we're just going to relax in the hotel now. Plan our adventures for tomorrow. Yeah, we've got a lot of stops to hit tomorrow for the rest of our sort of top 10 top things to do in trip, on TripAdvisor in Seattle. So we're going to call it an evening for now. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a full day of the best things to do in Seattle for a weekend away. And funny jokes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here.